welcome. I'm Pam Stack, the host from Authors on the Air. And with me today is best-selling award-winning author Libby Fisher Hellman. Hi Libby, how are you? I'm fine, Pam. It's great to see you. It's great to see you too. It's been a while, my friend. Um, <laughs> neither one of us doing this more often now that you finally downloaded Zoom. I'm telling you, I should, except, you know, for only for you will I brush my hair and put on war paint in the morning. Okay, got it. <laughs> you look good. Hey, Libby, you know, um, it's my understanding that um, when you went to Vietnam last year for vacation, that you got inspiration for a new book. Will you tell me about your trip, first of all? Well, the trip was great. Um, I had always wanted to go to Vietnam. Um, you know, I'm old enough to remember <laughs> the Vietnam War, and I'm old enough to have protested in the Vietnam War. Um, and I wanted to, oops, I, sorry about that. I wanted to see the place that took over 50,000 lives of our young men. And I wanted to see what it was like. And I wanted to go back into history and maybe feel what they felt and see what they saw and sense what they sensed. So I did. And um, it was, a, as soon as I got there, I said to the woman I was traveling with, I said, I'm writing a book about this. You know that. And she said, of course you are. I knew that. I said, but I didn't know that until I just got here. And she said, you take a lot of pictures. <laughs> so well, I, and, and you did. You took a lot of pictures. And from what I understand, it's a beautiful country. It's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway. Parts of it are gorgeous. We, yeah. the Central Highlands are like a fairyland. If you go there in the morning, there's mist that curls around the mountains. Um, it's, it's a beautiful, moderate climate. It's absolutely gorgeous. The main cities of Hanoi and Saigon, which of course now are called Ho Chi Minh City, are very different. They're in the lowlands and it never gets cool. It's hot all the time. And we were there in February and March. And by the time we left, we were there for three weeks. It was so hot. I really couldn't take it. I don't know how, because I, I, I'm a northerner. I live in Chicago. I just wasn't, my body wasn't ready for it. So anyway. Well, I want to for everyone to acknowledge and see, I'm pointing out, the gorgeous poster behind you for A Bend in the River, the name of your new book. 